So moving on from the toolbox, I'm going to draw your attention to the top of the screen. And we have the Home tab, Model, Test, View, and Plugins. Right now we're in Home. And you'll notice all the things that are available to you in Home. There are some functions that are easy to click, so copy, cut, duplicate, those kinds of things. Uh, when you see these here, uh, selecting and moving, that's uh, for an object. And so when you have an object selected, you can um, move it around or scale it or rotate it. The next thing is collisions. That's going to be important for moving forward. Um, but for right now, uh, again, what you notice in the Home tab are things that you can change with parts that you've selected. You also have a tab here for play. And this is the easiest place to just go ahead and test run your game. So if I just hit this, then I can actually start playing the game. And if you've played Roblox before, you know the controls. I'll cover the controls uh, in the next lesson. And then to stop your game, you just go up and click Stop. One last thing I want to point out with the Home tab is the game settings. And so game settings are available to you once you publish your game. And so once we get to the Save uh, and Publish uh, lesson, then you'll see what you can do with game settings. Uh, then I want to point out the Model tab. So you just click on Model. And these are parts that you're going to add together and then to create a model. And again, we're going to cover this later. One thing to point out is on the right hand side of the screen, you've got the spawn and the effects. And those are pretty fun to, to play with. So you can see with the effects, if you drop that down, you can see the different things you can add to uh, your parts. And then spawn is going to add another spawn location, which I just did. So continue on, you can see the test uh, tab. And this is for testing your game. And you can different do different settings for that as well. Uh, and then view, this is where you can set up the screen that we are looking at right now. So if you want to add any of these things like the asset manager, you can add that. Um, one thing we're going to add later most likely is the team create. And that will show you how you can create games with other people. But for right now, uh, keep the toolbox, output, command bar, and terrain editor. Make sure those continue to stay great. If anything uh, is removed, you can come back to the screen and then click them so that you can see them. A plugin is something that you can add to your Roblox Studio account so that you can add functionality to your game. Now, most of these plugins are things that other uh, developers have created so that you can do things uh, more quickly or more efficiently. And there are going to be, I have a couple already loaded in here, and there are a couple that we're going to use throughout this course. And so that's important to know where the plugins are as well. And lastly, there's these couple small icons on the top. If you want a quick player game, instead of clicking on home and then clicking on play, you can just go ahead and click this, and that will go ahead and start playing the game. Again, this is test run, uh, test of your game, not actually on Roblox yet. So, and again, to stop the gameplay, you just go up to stop. If you need to undo your last uh, action, you can press that button. Uh, Control Z will also undo that. And then if you need to redo something, you can click on the arrow there. Uh, quick open, I don't really use that very much, but you can use it if you want. I usually use it over in the Explorer. And of course, there is the File tab, which is going to show you all the different options you have there for filing and saving. So now you should be more comfortable with navigating Roblox Studio. Um, it's a lot to, to take in for the first time. And I just wanted to point out your attention to a couple of the more important things, the things you're going to be seeing over and over again. So now that you are more comfortable with the controls and the windows and options that are available to you in Roblox Studio, we're going to move on to the next lesson uh, where you're going to be learning uh, more about creating your game. I thank you and I'll see you in the next lesson.